Hey guys, um, I guess this is going to be like my first little vlog. Um, I have about a week until I open the shop, so I'm still kind of just going back and forth. I'm finding like little things here and there that I need to take. And um, then I'm going to meet my best friends up there so they can see it. i um, excited about that. I haven't eaten anything today. I'm only drinking iced coffee. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like... It's 11 o'clock, so usually I'm I'm very much a morning person, but the sun's not really like shiny. It's like kind of warm. I don't know. It's weird outside. It's like really muggy. So, so I guess I just need to get dressed, do my makeup. I'll probably film some content for TikTok once I get to the shop. And yeah, pretty easy day today. So come along with me. All right guys, this is the fit. I actually designed this sweatshirt. It's just very, it's just very faded out at this point. And I just have some like loose fit jeans and some vans here. Maybe I can, not that anyone really cares what I'm wearing, but just for the fucking sake of it. Here's the fit. Very comfy. I literally just, Need to run some errands and see my best friend. She doesn't care what I look like. So I think that's it. I just need to pack up my computer, some miscellaneous items, and I'm ready to go. All right, guys. Got breakfast. Got a croissant with egg and cheese. The donut shop in my town, they use like honey glaze. Like it's very very sweet so I usually just skip getting bacon from there so it's just egg and cheese today but that will still be good and I need to go pay a debt that I had $44 so that I can get my sales tax permit so I can use or sell retail so I'm gonna go do that and then we'll go to the shop I'm just gonna put up these few things and then I got a few questions on TikTok yesterday that I figured I would just answer on here because there's more than just three minutes so maybe we'll get into that once I'm done. Okay guys, I've got everything settled for now. Went and paid my taxes this morning. Well not my taxes, but apparently I owed like 40 bucks like I said earlier. I got that done. Um yeah, so let's get into the questions. So I've been doing hair for about eight years now, and the person asked on TikTok, um, should they practice before they start cosmetology school? And they were thinking about buying some stuff, you know, before they start. Okay, so first off, don't buy anything before cosmetology school because you're gonna get a kit unless your school is just weird. Um, it's part of the price that you're paying um, to get a kit with shears, straightener, you know, a blow dryer, pretty much anything you can need. And you're going to want to buy better new stuff when you get out anyways. So why spend the money now when in a year you're going to get new stuff when you actually know what you're buying basically. And um, I thought I would show you what I use. These are the cordless designers by Wall in the wall magic clips only cordless around here and wall mags i just love wall please sponsor me so then they asked should they practice before school and like that sounds great like i mean i guess why not but at the same time you don't know what you're practicing yet it's not really like haircutting is about theory and color is about theory right so unless you know um the color wheel unless you know color theory unless you know what developers you're mixing like you practicing wouldn't really be practicing it kind of just be wasting product do you see what i'm saying like or practicing haircuts you don't know what you're doing yet you know as far as pulling the layer out a certain direction or mid low to high fade or clip over comb like 
wait until you have an instructor that's what you're paying for until you have someone to teach you and then practice like once you learn how to do um clipper cuts then take your mannequin home or buy one off amazon so you have extra hair to practice on or if you have someone that's brave and will let you practice on them practice on them learn practice as you go basically i feel like that's a better way to put it so i feel like one of my strong suits is definitely men's haircuts um there's not a lot of haircuts that there's there's not a lot of haircuts that stress me out anymore after eight years of doing men's haircuts all the time and you know just women's haircuts stuff like that um but you don't learn that in school in school i did one men's haircut and it was a scissor cut and he had like shoulder length hair so it, it really didn't count for anything um everything i learned about clipper work i learned from my coworkers when i got my first job from watching them from you know watching youtube videos instagram videos i mean there's so many ways to get information now um i guess my best advice really is while you're in school get a job as a receptionist on the weekends um that way you can watch people actually doing hair you can actually ask them i guess that's kind of my little two cents um do your own research i i feel like people do not take advantage of youtube and TikTok and Instagram enough. Like people are out here literally giving you free information. If you just watch half of these hairstylists show you um, how they're foiling, how they're teasing, how they're applying color, like if you just pay attention, if you just watch, you can learn so much. Okay, so enough about that. Um, I am now going to work on my computer a little bit. I was stupid yesterday and didn't bring the cord, so my computer died. I don't know what I was thinking or how long I think batteries last on laptops, but obviously it was not enough. Um, what else am I gonna do today? I'm probably gonna make a few TikToks. I have not made any TikToks um, in a minute, so yeah, I'll do that. And yep, and then Cassidy and Jess, my best friends, should be coming by later. To check it out I'm so excited yep thanks for hanging out with me guys thanks for watching guys if you have any more questions for me feel free to ask um, I'm totally an open book and yeah I will see you guys next time